I was really scared and just like, holy crap. Well, I told my mom over the phone and she told me to come home and talk to them. It was the worst night of my life. I mean, they really didn't react that badly, but just like, they just like gave me a hug and they were really silent and it was really awkward. I don't like talking about like the way we got married because I know people like are judgmental of that. And like, it sounds like, oh, we just got married because I was pregnant but that's not how either of us felt. We got married on June 1st at the beach and it was just us and like a pastor and our parents. It was raining, but you know that they say it's good luck if it rains on your wedding. I was having cramps and my back hurt for about a week and then um, one night it was really bad like my back hurt so bad and I thought that was weird so I went into the hospital because that's where my doctor's office is and just to like see I didn't think it was anything and then they told me that I was four centimeters dilated already and so they admitted me into the hospital but I still really didn't think anything would happen an hour later I was five centimeters and then like 30 minutes later I was eight centimeters. So, um, and because he was upside down, they had to do a C-section. They were doing it really fast and um, they started like cutting me and I could still feel it. So I had an emergency C-section and he was born and he was one pound, 12 ounces. So he was 15 weeks early technically. 25 weeks he was born. Scariest day of my life. By the time that I first saw my son, he was already in an incubator. The ventilator tube right down his mouth, and he was tiny, one pound, 12 ounces. And, you know, it was, she was, she did everything perfect in the pregnancy. She couldn't have done anything better. She, you know, everything, she, she was perfect. You know, it kind of made us angry because, you know, there's mothers out there who don't do anything for their pregnancy and, you know, they smoke cigarettes, do drugs, drink alcohol, and they get a nice healthy baby and, well, she did everything perfect and she got a three months premature baby. They really haven't told me anything. Um, they said it could have been a placental abruption, which means the placenta, like, breaks off like I keep asking them and they can't tell me anything and they say a lot of times they just don't know so it's not easy to go up to the hospital every day and see them there and you know it's both it's the reality is there that we have a son but it hasn't quite set in yet because we're not able to take care of him on a daily basis and have him in our home and be our son you know it's not easy coming home and not having him here and knowing that he's somewhere else, it's gonna bring us a lot of joy and happiness to finally see him here. Yeah, it's been really rough. Excited to have him home and get back to normal life, normal routine, and be a family. It's just most important. I go to the hospital at least once a day, if not twice a day. I mean, I stay there for a long time, but um, it takes about 30 minutes, so it's kind of annoying going back and forth all the time. 
a good day is just a day that he makes significant progress and he's breathing well the whole day. He doesn't desat, which is like when his oxygen saturation is low. And um, lately he has less and less bad days. He mostly just has good days. Well, if um, AJ is at work, then I'll stay here like all day. Um, unless, well, like lately, because we're trying to get more done at the house, then I might spend more time at home trying to get things ready for Blake. But um, usually I spend like five or six hours or more. having a premature baby it's extremely stressful and it's just you want to have your baby with you all the time and be the one caring for it so it's very frustrating and sad but you have to be positive and um, you just like you just have to adjust to it and it becomes normal he just woke up too right <laughs> Perfect. on time well, I could um, hold his feet in if you want to hold him. Okay. We can get him out and you can finish off on okay. you. Um, I wanted to pump first, though. Oh, that's that fine okay? then. We can okay, just, sorry. You can do that. I and just then we can need to get it over with. That's fine, yeah, because then pump, bathroom, everything, whatever yeah. you need, and then you can just sit and hold him. Okay. I don't go on the internet. I don't want to see any of that because there's a lot of negative stories, and it's just like each baby is different. Like, you can't compare your baby to another one like they each have completely different ways of growing other people were more negative than I was I was like no he's gonna be fine it'll be a while and it's gonna be really hard but he's gonna be okay all right the fast money rounds complete let's see how many points you got for your first answer survey says this was your second answer Survey says, third answer, survey says. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, he woke up. Like, as a mom, like, it's very unnatural to be away from your baby. And, um you feel kind of like useless because like the nurses are the one that are caring for him so it's like very frustrating so we are counting down the days so we can take him home like this yeah that's perfect okay let's grab him yeah and just grab his little head got his socks in it everything's on him perfect um, I'm most looking forward to just like being able to hold him and like feed him and just having him with me. Like he should be with me all the time. Like it'll be, yeah, it'll still be stressful and hard, but it'll be a different kind of stress. I just can't wait. Hi. I feel really good. This is the best part. <laughs>